going to have a door. Yeah. Okay, you're live. Hey guys, happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday the 28th, I believe. And uh, we are live on Facebook doing our normal thing. So uh, we were just laughing because there was a what could have been considered a motorhome at one time that went by that, uh, oh man, it, it had was... plywood for the outside oh, walls. Oh my no gosh. Door, no back end. Yeah, it was like tore up. You can hear it off in the distance. <laughs> at least it's still running. Man, it was all tore up. Anyway... We see, get to see that stuff. But the wildlife out here lately has just been crazy. We're sitting here watching all the quail and the bunnies. And um, this morning, this morning I took a video of a, um, a roadrunner over here. Uh, about a five-minute video of the roadrunner over here getting a drink of water. Anyway, just uh, I, I love this time of year. At my desk, was, this was yesterday. I have a little, little bird tapping on my window. Yeah, tapping on your window. Anyway, uh, we just got all kinds of wildlife going on. I love this time of year. Speaking of wildlife, here comes the big boy. Magnum's going to join us. Um, anyway, uh, I guess all the dogs are coming around. Uh, all right, guys. So let's uh, let's get into this. Oh, before I forget, uh, I got an email this morning. Someone asking if they missed the the sale on the uh, the Tom packs. Uh, nope, didn't miss it. It's starting on Friday night. We'll probably I'll probably start posting that little uh, video that Matt made for us. Matt Bay made a cool little commercial for us. Probably start posting that, and um, you guys will will talk about it more. But Friday night after our live, that's when the sale starts. Well, somebody asked if they could order early, but I have to, we that's no. <laughs> no, yeah, Friday through Sunday night. Friday night through Sunday All right, night. We got some folks here. Hold on, I'm gonna tell you who's here. Cool. Artie Borger, Tessa, hi Tessa, Tom, Panberry, John Hall, Andy Littleton, Greg Breimer, Marla Busby, Chad and Stacy and Chad, Jason Harrison, um, Norm Very cool. Rob Duerstein, Greg Clark. Stephen Coyne, Doug Powell, Greg Clark. Great, great group. Chad said, I saved a raccoon the other morning from our dogs. <laughs> he's in, he's, where are you I, at, Chad? I, I don't know where I Chad know. is. Chad, that's Chad and Stacy? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know where he's Frank's at. Frank's here, Norman Tosta, Leonard Davis. Great group. Richard cool. Barclay. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Uh, I hope these are valuable for you and you get something out of them. So tonight, I'm going to spend some time. I got an email this morning. Uh, oh, Dave Rossiter's here. He said he got his package over in Canada. Awesome. So that eBay uh, International oh, is working. in Tennessee. In Tennessee. Fantastic. Uh, so I got an email. I don't know if this was yesterday or, or today. And it said, uh, I would like to do a sign that says Windy Acres with a picture of a goat in the middle of a circle. Uh, the word windy arched on the top and the word acres arched at the bottom. Do you have any videos that show you, uh, show me how to do this? So, um, and he also says I have a rapid resizer. Um, so I do have a couple of videos, but I'm going to do a little demo here uh, and kind of expand on those videos. What's so funny? Oh, John Hall says, I didn't mean could I order them today. What I meant was can we order them before noon on Friday or do we have to wait until after the gets and chiggles? Oh. Friday, it's after the uh, YouTube live, actually. Yeah. It starts about the sale. By the time we get done and I get everything on there, it's around 8 o'clock. That's 8 o'clock our, our time, which 8 is... 8 p.m. That would be 11 p.m. is here from NorCal. Hey, Tim. I Yeah, I saw Tim was... Uh, uh, what part of Northern California is Tim from? Tim, he's in. Yeah. Um, I can't remember. He's up there by uh, by Napa, up there. Um, Grape Leaf Inn. Oh, uh, Sonoma, like Healdsburg. Healdsburg. Ah, okay. Um, all right. So, yes, go watch video for for doing layout uh, on signs with arches and stuff go watch video number 72 and that's what i told mike i answered him 
And uh, this is the one that I um, I kind of showed on that uh, on that video. You'll see that sign, which again has an arch, an over, and an under arch with an oval. I didn't lay it out. I just showed it, but I did show uh, some things that has to do with laying out with arches. And then uh, number 210, Vicky did a demo on the rapid resizer, and she showed how she arched these letters um, on with rapid resizer. I need to go back and watch that video. <laughs> yeah, that was the one where I cracked you up uh, when it came on and you were... You were laughing like enough. hysterically. <laughs> anyway, and I think I think you can put an uh, an under mm -hmm. arch on there too. But again, it's been a while mm -hmm. since we did that. But anyway, so that can be done in rapid resizer as well. But I do it kind of. Uh, I'm going to do it kind of the old fashioned way. So here's what I'm going to do. I've got one of these rounds, and. Is that uh, my round. No, this was, uh, this actually, I just took this out of the plastic. Here's a tip for you guys. If you guys buy these, every once in a while I'll buy one and I'll just stick it in my wood rack and I'll keep it. If I keep the plastic on it, then I don't necessarily have to seal it up. This, I just took the plastic off today and I just uh, put a real quick coat of uh, the Krylon uh, clear on it, on the edge especially. And then uh, now I know it's protected, but if you can keep it in the plastic, the longer you can keep it in the plastic, you don't have to actually put something yeah, in see, it. Yeah, see, mine aren't in plastic and they came apart. Yeah, and see, the ones I buy um, from Lowe's, they come, uh, most of them come sealed in plastic, or they did. I've had this one probably for a year or more. You can see where the, the label was on it right there. And these things, uh, I actually, this has to do, Artie just sent me uh, um, sent me an email and asked me about making signs out of this. So, Artie, I'm going to answer your question right now. I didn't get to answer it on email. So, if I was making a sign out of this, even though it's, it's probably one inch, probably one inch net or thereabouts. Yeah, it is one inch net. So, even though it's one inch net, it's pretty substantial. I, I wouldn't worry about it too much about cupping even though I'm not going to take a chance. Artie was asking whether uh, you should put a backer or somehow um, support these these laminations because this is, uh, I don't know, six or eight different pieces. I would definitely do that, Artie. So you can do that any number of ways. You can put, you can back it with plywood if you want to. Now with this, I, I wouldn't think that you'd need to back it with like three quarter inch plywood. You could probably get by with half inch plywood backing on this. But there's other ways you could do it. You could put strips on the back as well. You could put little, uh, little like two inch or, or four inch strips on the back. You could put metal straps on the back. There's a lot of different ways you could cut a groove, um, you know, uh, like a dado in the back if you wanted to, and put a little channel in there. Uh, there's a lot of different ways you can do it, but I definitely would not trust this outside without something. Or you put quarter inch. Uh, you, you probably could get by with quarter inch because this is so thick. This particular one is one inch net. Uh, if it's less than that, I don't know that I would trust quarter inch. But you definitely want to put something, if it's going outside, to keep that. And this that's not what this video was about. Yes, so says I'm, his wife uses those for her signs. I'm not sure what kind of signs. Yeah, if they're, if they're going inside, I would go ahead and just go with it the way it is. If it's going outside, I don't trust it. I don't trust laminations that I don't do myself for exterior signs. So I would definitely... Um, I would definitely put something on there to, uh, what's the matter, are they eating the tree? Meg's again? eating the tree, <laughs> drooling the whole time. So this is, uh, th I think this is a little bit different one, this came off of here, a little bit different than um, than the ones that you get mm -hmm. at Home Depot. I think these are a little bit pricier. So let me show you what I would suggest on, uh, on doing some layout with arches. Now, so uh, what I, but you know, I, you guys know that I generally use uh, layout letters. So if I was doing these layout, using layout letters in order to get an arch, there's a lot of different ways to do it. I hope I spell things right. I'm not going to do any spraying here at all. 
Uh, are you able to oh, once you get him down. follow me with this, babe? All right, so he wants to put a goat on there. And I think I have a little goat here somewhere. I do. You did have him. Yep. So we're going to put a little goat on there. I'll turn this around. So here's what I, there's Hi guys. <laughs> a lot of different ways, what you do, flip it? There's a lot of different ways if you're using a round sign. Now the thing that, that Mike didn't tell me, he didn't give me any idea on the shape of the board. He didn't give, give me any idea on size. But what you could do, if you wanted to you you know do uh, really? an arch, you could do it that way. You know, you could you could draw a line that way. I'm doing this real quick. I'd probably be a little bit more Hi careful. <laughs> um, so you could do it that way as far as laying out an arch that way. Um, and then as far as putting this inside a circle, again, my old tricks. Uh, here, I just got a couple cups. There's like two different size circles there. That one might work or that one might work. That one, This one would probably be... Yeah, that one would probably be all right. So you could literally just put that in there, draw around it. There's your circle. There's your arches. So that's one way you could do it. Again, I don't know, you know, I didn't get enough context from Mike whether he's doing it on doing uh, using a square board or a round board. If it if you're using a round board, this obviously is a cool way to go and it makes it fairly simple. But let's say for instance you got a square board. Here's another piece of panel board. Again, this has got uh, this has got sanding sealer on it, I believe. <coughs> Bless you. So let's say that uh, you wanted to do it here. Oh, you know what I was going to do? I want to. I want to leave that underneath there to build that up. So um, one of the cool ways to do arches. It's got a big old hole in it. Bless you. So what I did was I just pulled out some bigger letters. So we've got Wendy again. So if I wanted to do Thank this, you. again, this is uh, just, I'm doing this real quick just to kind of give you an idea. A great way, what we have done and developed over the years, and these are just little cheating tools. This is just a little piece of, MDF, uh, we just made that and we keep it and this thing is probably 15 years old so we have different different size arches for different uh, you know something that would be depending on what kind of arch we need so I've got all different kinds this is probably a more appropriate for this but if you don't have these um, I, I would suggest if you're going to do a bunch of signs and you're going to use arches on a regular basis, I would make yourself a set of these. Frank says, little leg to the left. Little leg to the left. Yes, little leg to the left. Oh, on the Y? Or, where, somebody asked, where did you get that board? This board? Uh, Lowe's, I believe. Yeah, I believe. Yep. All right, so um, now... Another way to draw the arch, this is, uh, I'm, uh, again, I'm just going to kind of do this. I'm using a line right here, so I know that that is about the right size, and I'm bringing these in the same. Oh, you see that B? A B? Big one. No, I did not. So that's another great way that you could draw an arch. Uh, this is what the the kind of and you you don't have to use a yardstick. You could use a thin piece of wood that's pliable. Um, it works really really well. Um, in the old days, back before, <laughs> and this is really going to date me. Back before they made these, uh, I can remember as a kid. I they, these things are so cool. They didn't make these back uh, back in the day. Another way that I would do it back then, especially if, uh, if, and I, you know, I'm not doing any measurement, guys, here. I'm just kind of winging this just to give you an idea. 
you definitely would have wanted to do all your measurements and make sure everything is balanced and all that. But another way that I would do it back then, because we didn't have these, I, I would use either C clamps from the end or if these were outset letters, which I did mostly outset letters, I literally would drive a nail. And if I drove a nail in there to use to bend that yardstick, I knew that that nail was going to be where the, where the background was anyway, so it wouldn't matter. I was actually literally driving a 16-penny nail in there, and then the background would, it would be around where the edge of the letters are, and then the background would clean that up anyway, so it wouldn't really matter. Bye, Gus. Don't bye. work too hard. Bye, Gus. Um, let's see. Uh, Pam Berry asked a question. Yes, when you used to carve on site, what size of sign blanks did you have ready? And for my first time carving on site, what layout letters and templates should I ha have to start? Okay, so on site we normally, we norm the biggest board we had normally on site was a 12 by 24. That was our big one. Then most everything else was was uh, smaller than that. Six by 24s was a was probably the ones we sold the most of. Or we had the big ribbon, which is basically 5 by 23. We, uh, the ribbon signs w were really, really popular for us. So we had all three sizes of ribbons, the, the large, the medium, the small. And then we had 4 by 18s and 4 by 12s. And that was kind of it. We, we only had like five or six sizes. And I generally tried to have a, a dozen of each of every size. Uh, not on the big ones because we didn't sell those that many. If I had two or three of the 12 by 24s, I was probably okay for the day. But uh, I generally tried to have 10 or 12 of each of all the others just uh, just to be ready. The size of letters, um, one inch, inch and a half, and two. That was almost, I would say, 98% of all the signs I ever made out carving on site were one, in, one inch, inch and a half, and two inch. Oh, man, this fly. Um, so that was that's kind of what I started with. And then as many uh, layout templates as you have, I would take them all. Put them in like a book, like yep. a, a book that has like a uh, collector's cards, the sports cards folder things or slide them in there. Or, or you know, those uh, those cases that they make for DVDs. Yeah. Uh, those work really, really well because you can you can show your customers this this is what I have. I didn't have that when I was up in Oatman, and I regret that I should have because I could have had that out there where people could see all those. But take as many layout templates as far as images as you can because you never know. You just never know. Um, so again, you know circles. Uh, I've got a bigger goat here. You know, if that's, uh, and then uh, that works out really good as a circle. I knew that would get a reaction. You should have seen Vicky's face when I did that. That was so worthwhile. I got the stink eye, but I'm not spraying. I'm not spraying. Anyway, that would make a really good circle. Where's my pencil? I don't know. It's over here. So that would make a really good circle. Again, I'm not measuring. But, you know, you just have to look and see where your circles are. are. That's a little big, obviously. I would probably, if I, would the, if I was using I recommend if you're going to use your uh, uh, pan lid, go yeah. to the Goodwill or the yard sales and get them that aren't your wife's. Well, it all depends. Anyway, so, uh, you know, the guys, the, you just have to be kind of, as <laughs> far as circles. You, sir, are in trouble. <laughs> You just have to be kind of inventive. Now, I um, this is you know I this is the old-fashioned way. I'm sure there's programs that you could put it in programs and print them out on tiles and do it all that way. This is uh, I a lot of times when I did this, I had to do it quick and I had the layout letters and uh, that's the 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 real um, advantage of having layout letters is uh, the fact that it just makes that, it so much faster. Thought, uh, Pam says, what's the most popular fonts? I can't buy them all to start, LOL, thank you. Yeah, um, you know, <laughs> Clarendon is the ones that I've always used. These are Bookman, which are really close to the Clarendon, but Clarendon's the ones that and I always Western. used. 
the Western, yeah, the Western are good too, but depending on where you're at, really. But yeah, but the Clarendon, by and large, the Clarendon are um, they seem to be. I don't know. I guess I maybe I'm biased. If I didn't have Clarendon and I had like the Fatty Font, the Fatty Font is really cool because it's very forgiving. You can carve those fast, <laughs> and if you're anywhere close, you're good. Jason said, "Use Eric's cup for mixing resin next time." Oh, oh. Frank Jason. said, "No, I that's fighting that words cup. <laughs> right there. That's fighting words. I didn't ruin it." I and you know half the time I do the dishes, so I'll clean it. <laughs> Dessa said, "I think you put a lot of thought in that one." In what one? Using the lid? Yeah. Yeah. She said that's real sanitary. I throw it in the dishwasher. It's fine. Um. Anyway, I've got a bigger board over here that I was going to use in, in in the demo, but to be honest, this gives you gives you a really good idea, and hopefully Mike will see this. But it's it's pretty simple. Just you know it. it and again, Mike didn't give me any criteria as far as uh, sizes or anything. But these things work really good for um, for drawing arches. Back in the old days, it was much more difficult. So Kyle Bingaman says, do you give customers a choice of letters f uh, for the font from a small list? Um, I normally will. Well, when I was in Oatman carving on site, no. Uh, I, I had Western and I had Clarendon, and that was it. If they wanted something other than that, then they wouldn't get it right there while they waited. If they wanted something other than that, then it would be a special order. They would come back the next day, or I would ship it, or that kind of thing. As far as uh, orders through the Internet, they generally w are looking at my, uh, at my website and we we go back and forth, and that's one of the main questions I ask them. Do you like that font that you saw on the website? Because those are all Clarendon, basically. Um, and they say yes or no. If they want a different font, then I can, you know, I kind of get an idea of what they're thinking. And a lot of times, whatever they say will trigger in my mind. I've got 300 pictures, 400, 500 pictures of different signs that I've done with different fonts. I'll send them pictures or I'll tell them, listen, go to the internet, go to Google, type in free fonts, go find a font that you like, and then let me know. Because I don't want to give them too much choice. If they are not liking what they're seeing, then let them go find it and get back to you. Because you can spend a bunch of time um, B groove, yes. The 60 and the 90 are B groove bits. Yes. Uh, actually, all of our bits, except for the spiral and the 45, they're all V groove. They're just different angles of V groove bits. So, um, anyway, I would, exp I would suggest, guys, don't spend a lot of time talking about fonts and all of that stuff until you've already got somewhat of a, not a commitment, but a ballpark price that they know what they're talking about. You guys are on the in the same ballpark as far as pricing goes. Because you can spend, and this is a mistake I made many, many times early on, spending a ton of time going over details, and we haven't even got to a, a, a ballpark price yet. So get that out of the way and say, okay, you're looking at about 150 bucks. If it if that sounds all right, and it could be plus or minus, if that sounds all right, then we'll take the next steps and we'll have a phone conversation or we'll talk about details. Until you've got that out of the way, and they, if they come back and they say yes, then it makes sense to go further. They haven't committed, but in their mind, they kind of have committed. If they if if they say no, then you know they weren't serious you're wasting anyway. Wasting time. Yeah. yeah, you're just wasting your time. I have spent. Uh, I, I could go into a lot of times that I have wasted that. But, so get a ballpark price. That's just something that I've learned over the years. Um, anything else? Uh, Jay Burby said, but that's only inset letters, right? For, no, no. I, I, I do mostly. Or maybe he's talking about the 90 degree bit. Oh, I didn't even, I thought we weren't, well, well I, anyway. You're not reading what I'm, I'm reading, yeah. so. So, for inset letters, um, inset, these inset letters, I might use the 90. I would probably use the 60, uh, but I might use the 90 because these are uh, three-inch inset letters. 
but the, I probably would make these outset letters. But there's a lot of customers like like uh, on this sign. There's a lot of customers that like inset letters. Chris Vickery says, "What was the Krylon Color Master spray you used on the spray stain tip um, 718 2020 video? Is there something else on the can that I missed? The Krylon Color um, Matte Color?" Uh. I don't know. Seven, send, send him an email, Chris. Yeah, that send me an email, Chris. That's, uh, I got so many videos. That was eight days ago. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's like, a, after uh, the video is done, uh, it's gone. Yeah, send right. me a video on that, Chris. I'll, I'll answer your questions, definitely. Send me a video on that, or a, an email. All right, sign carvers of the day. Hey, Justin. So if you guys have questions oh, on this. Oh, he said sorry he was talking to Frank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Who, uh, Frank, Chris him and was? Frank Jenkins are talking. Sorry. <laughs> are you Matt Marlin? You said you asked Matt about Marlin. Matt. I think that might be. I have a Matthew M here. Well, okay, that might be Matt. It might be Matt. Um, Pete Hernandez. <laughs> Pete Hernandez, uh, and he made this out of laminated pallet wood. Kind I of love a the cool hummingbirds. little, uh, Cool little hummingbird. Nice image there. Good job, Pete. I think this is one of his first. One of his first. I didn't write it down. So this is Matthew M. I never got a last name, but they're really neat little dog bones. So Matt, who, is that you, Matthew Marlin? Is that you? Matthew that Marlin. That in? Those are cute. Very nicely done. White letters. I'm normally not a fan of white I because like it. it doesn't cover well. But against that uh, red cedar. He said he just got here. He was carving a sign for a customer. Yeah, this really nice. Are these your done. signs, Matt? Yep, that's him. Matt yep. Marlin. Very nice done. Nicely done, Matt. Those very are nice. Those are beautiful. Uh, Scott Bailey, his very first sign. What? I think you... I think I saw one similar. Uh, this is for his wife's family reunion. So I think it, you probably can't read it, but it says, I believe it we says. We are who we are because they were who they were. Right. Yep. That's exactly right. And it looks like it was, it almost looks like a piece of oak or something like that, like a live edge piece of oak. For a first sign, that's pretty amazing, Scott. Really nice. Very nice. We need done. some rain over here. I think we got some coming. I thought we were going to get in a monsoon Ooh, season. Oh, I by like now. that. Andy Earl. Andy Not surprising. Earl. Yeah, no surprise there. How cool is that? So he did this for a charity event for St. Jude's. Really well done, Andy. I love his uh, his use of colors and stains. Just beautiful, beautiful work, buddy. Great job, Andy. And last but not least, Ken Meadows. He is from Lake Havasu. Oh, I like nice that. work, Ken. Very nice. Very, very nice. Beautiful stuff. Great signs, guys. All right. So, um, Magnum's eating the tree again. Keep sending in those sign carvers of the day. I want to keep. Uh, Wow. Frank says they've had about five inches of the rain in the last six days. Oh, man. I hope that's not messing up the fishing. Um, let's see. So, don't forget, Friday, uh, the sale starts on Friday. And, uh, again, like I said last night, I got something else in the works. I'll be announcing maybe on Friday. We'll see what happens over the next couple days. Uh, oh, yeah. A new... Video tomorrow morning, Vicki and I are working on a project together. Ooh. So you're going to see the beautiful Vicki on camera. Oh my gosh. Yes. So I'm not cooking you dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to make up for using the lid. Oh my pan. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're excited about it. We're kind of in the middle of it. We're, uh, it's going to be probably two videos long. And uh, it's kind of cool. It's, it's going to be kind of neat. Um, so... It's uh, something we've never done, uh, but we're having fun with it. Let's see. Tessa said, can we send more or still one a month? Sign carvers every day. Still one a month, Tessa. I'm getting a lot. So, yeah, still one one per, one picture per month per person. Yep, because I'm still getting quite a few. That'll give you time to finish the one that you're working on, Tessa. That one's nice. 
Okay? Uh, anything else? Nope. Okay, guys, that is it. Thanks so much. We love you. We'll see you here tomorrow, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night we'll be here, and uh, I'll be doing something else. I don't know what <laughs> it'll be, but I'll figure it out. So thanks again, guys. We love you. Give us some thumbs up and likes and shares and all that stuff. So uh, pass the word. We'd appreciate it. Thanks so much, guys. We Good love night, you. Guys. We'll, we'll see you tomorrow.